Hello, welcome to Infinite Phoenix Gaming. I'm super excited to have you all here today. Today I wanted to take a minute and just show you all how I set up my green screen. I did it for, uh, we did it on the economy plan. I'll just be honest. So I picked this up and we'll see if I can show it to you. Wow, that looks kind of cool and it breaks everything. <laughs> but let me uh, stop this real quick so I can show it to you. Okay, so I got this. It was a $10 item at Hobby Lobby. You can see I have tons left over. I just put it on a sheet of cardboard and put it up against the wall. It's not actually on the wall, so I can move it. It's about five feet by three feet. It's pretty small, actually. It just fits my little window of life, you know, that I share with you here. We'll go ahead and just turn it back on now for the fun of it. And then we're gonna go over some settings. So let's go ahead and just break this. Woo, there we go. So uh, if you guys use OBS, this is how I did my green screen. And I wanna definitely throw some shout outs to all of the YouTube creators who've also done this because it took a compilation of everybody's videos for me to sort out my process and get it just right. Uh, so what I did is I did create a new scene. We set that up and then I added everything new. The camera is actually the same camera, has to be the same camera because the hardware is the same. And we added the color correction. They're all default, so I didn't do any color correction. And then 450, 70 was about the right levels for me. As you play with it, you could see on your screen right now that it definitely breaks things just a little bit. So if we went to about 470, oh, just a little too much. Just try to get it as exact as possible. Now I'm broken everything mid video too. I hate when I do that. There we go. Oh. So how does that look? Does it got me okay? So that's how I did my green screen. Oh, now I've broken all the settings, but I just wanted to share you guys the quick, easy settings. Really, all I did is come in here. I go into filters. We'll remove them for fun so we can go through it all together. So I am gonna re-add the color correction. I do like having it there, though I don't often use it. I just maybe might turn up the contrast just a tiny bit, tiny bit of color change. Then we're gonna add in the chroma key. The chroma key is the most important part. That's what makes this whole thing work. So we turn on the chroma key and you can see it kind of is funny and you just have to fine tune it. About like that, and maybe just a tiny bit less. And once you have the fine tuning set, you can just set it and forget it because OBS will remember your settings. So that's about it. I wanted to just share that the fun little process with you, and it's just a process of fine tuning both back and forth. What did I have before? 470. No, that's not quite right. But I will say it also changes. As the sun comes up, it's a little different than what it would be if the sun was not up. So it takes some practice and some getting used to. It definitely will be a work in progress for me as I figure it all out all over again with the new light settings. Yeah, so. Yeah, I definitely appreciate you guys all coming in and checking this out with me. It has been a fun time. We will continue to do some light tutorials. And if you guys are interested in, you know, more crafty stuff, I could definitely show you the roll and uh, taking it apart, putting it on cardboard. It was just a tape job. It was really simple, but it looks cool. I'm thinking I should put it in a frame. <laughs> I know that'd be silly, but I don't know. Well, thanks, you guys. I really appreciate you all being here, and I will see you all in the next episode. Stay safe, everyone.